But we're gonna let him out and we're gonna see how it goes. Is it because it's gonna be really their first test, true test uh, on electric fencing. Big Joe's about to run off the new bull. All right, y'all, we are down here hanging out with the Big Joe herd. Marissa and I have, uh, say hi, everybody. Peaches, good to see you. They've been in pasture too for a while, grazing it, hitting it hard. Woo! This is Belle Star, if you don't remember her. And this is Phoenix, her calf. It's really the only calf that we named this year because of you guys. But uh, Phoenix uh, was born live on camera, caught the whole thing. That was those two right there. It was magical. It's a pretty special moment. But Marissa and I have been uh, battling this hot wire. We put it all in and uh, it's been pretty fun, right? So here we did a standoff. I think I'm having ground issues. If you guys know anything about electric fencing, I'll just tell you briefly. Some of you have done this. I've never used electric fence, but we're trying to incorporate it into our regenerative ag system and everything. We're trying to do it all over the Ponderosa. We still are going to use some of our existing cross fences, right? That we already have, barbed wire. But so, you know, like places like this, what I've done is our energizer is up at the barn, way up there. It's coming out at like 6,000 volts, all right? And I know it scares some of you like, holy, you're going to kill them. No, 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 no. So basically, if some of you, I, I need some help here. If some of you know about that, I've got, I just drove three more ground rods. So I've got six ground rods in and I did get more power. But the problem is the further away that we're getting from the Energizer, the lower our voltage is. Now it's going to give them a little pep talk <laughs> whenever they come up and touch it. But what we did uh, yesterday evening, Marissa and Brooks and I, is we went and uh, put flags up so they can actually see it, and recognize it, because it's going to be really their first test, true test. So this is all learning to me. I'm, I'm the dummy, yes, uh, on electric fencing. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to learn more about it. But why is it getting weaker? If you know, please leave a comment below and help me out. But I drove three more ground rods and I've got a little bit more juice. I still don't know why I'm getting so weak coming this far. But we're gonna let them out and we're gonna see how it goes because this pasture, it, it, needs, some, it needs some time off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start them right here real quick in this. So I'm gonna flip this around for y'all to see the most important part, not me, them, right? And our new bull, still don't have a name yet. <laughs> Second, he's doing good looking spiffy stud you've been in the mud golly big joe let's see who's a uh, big joe on a date with every day it's been somebody new what a character peaches you're always you're always the first one in always oh well, here we go All right, all right. I'll move out of the way. I gotta get my bucket out of here. Big Joe, you on a date? I'm really proud of how these animals look though. They look awesome coming out of, uh, you know, kind of towards a summer ending off their grazing program. They're looking good. Here he comes. Oh, I just need to give him a pep talk. Here he comes. Oh, no, he's, his lady's running away. That's the problem. He's like, oh, no. His lady's running away. Oh, let's see who it is here. Who's in here? That's oh, Peter Cole. That's a Peter Cole 
cow right there. Oh, he, oh, he's gonna show off. Oh, he's gonna pee. And he's gonna roll in it. That a boy. Uh-huh, the big fella. Yeah, I know, I know. We know that you own the place. It's yours. We got you. Nobody's gonna stop you. Big dog. Come on, kid. Our black, our black looking female. Come on, calves. Don't be dragging around. You guys are last. Oh, first chance of hot wire. I missed it. They're getting as close as they can. Well, that ain't good. Well, there you go. Hot wires uh, didn't zap them in the head. Pop those two off. That's good. <sighs> I don't want to tell Marissa. So I'm just kind of sitting here watching them, seeing how they respect this. Now they can easily jump over this. Of course, we only did two. This one is at 36 inches. This top line's at 36 inches. That one's at 24. Big Joe's coming over. They like this area right here because uh, I mowed it as we came through here and built this little fence. Hadn't seen a full zap yet. Hey, Bill. And I don't know if that hair is so thick on their head when they're touching it, it's not really getting to them. Oh, this is interesting. Christy? Well, 
guess I could follow them for a little bit. I don't actually see any of them touching the wire. Darn. Hey, girl. Hey, Eleanor. Hey, girl. Looking plumpy. Well, I see you walking away with some sass. At least you got a buddy out here with you. They seem pretty happy. They all got their heads down and grazing, even the little calves are grazing. I think they're going to be pretty busy, to be honest with you, as far as testing this hot wire. There's a lot of grass in there. They haven't been grazed in a while, like three months, two months, really, I guess. But we won't really know. How it turns out yet well, that will ground it out right there Got him. Uh-oh, we got action. Big Joe's about to run off the new bull.
all right y'all i think i found uh the issue so like i said forgive me it's my first time i walked over here and i was actually talking to kevin because where he works they deal with a lot of hot wire and so i called him for some experience i'm walking around talking to him and this t-post right here didn't have insulators on it and i don't know why out of all of these right here in the very center this t-post doesn't have any insulators on it so it was grounding out and i was talking to kevin Oh, Big Joe's with a new lady now, right over here. I tested it before, and I'm like, I'm only getting 1.6 reading, and I watched the bison, and it wasn't zapping them. And so I'm like, what in the world? I came down here, found the two insulators, found the two that were not on this, put the insulators on while I'm talking with Kevin, and I said, I'm going to measure it one more time. Anyways, 8.9 was our next reading. Woo! Glad I didn't touch it. Ooh, I would have felt that. Uh. So no. Uh, we are working and operating now. So since then, I was on the phone with Mom and Kevin, I missed a little bit of footage, but uh, the bison were up here roaming up against the fence, and most of the ones that were testing it were the calves, right? They're the, they're the right height. Well, they were testing it, and it was getting them. I got one on camera here uh, of uh, him uh, getting zapped a little bit, and uh, so this pulses. So if they're touching it for a second... And then the next second it pulses, it'll get them. And that's what happened to them. So anyways, uh, we are hot now, which is awesome. So hopefully they respect it and respond to it. Just like I saw here. It's a start guys. This is a start. I have seen this work. I've seen this work on bison and we're wanting to use it. So this is the beginning of hot wire for Marissa and I in the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. We're trying to reach this regenerative goal. We're trying to restore the land, grow all the native grasses we can, take care of the soil, make this place awesome. Where maybe someday, once we get our herd the right size, we don't have to buy hay. That's the whole goal is you don't have to supplement feed and all those things. Now, is that much harder down here? Absolutely. Is it possible to get to that point? Absolutely, I think so. Uh, that's our goal, uh, is, to, is to go as far as we can where the animals are just living off of what's existing. Will we have to probably feed some supplement? Maybe. Will we have to feed a little bit of hay? Maybe. Just for protein count, because our protein's so much lower here on our native grasses and our hay than everything else. So, and then all the places up north. But, exciting. We are hot down here. We're reading at 8.9, which is what is up at the very front. So we are doing good. Oh, somebody just got shocked. I seen him run away. But I did. I was sitting here talking to Mom and Kevin. I was watching the young bull was chasing a cow. And out of the blue, here comes Big Joe. He came out of the blue, ran across the pasture, cut him off, and no scuffling at all. Young bull walked right away. Big Joe took the female. And that is the point of when you have a young bull. Now, someday, Big Joe's going to get older and move on and get lazy. but the And the young bull will take over and defeat Big Joe. That's going to be a while, right? But that's the whole purpose of why you have a young bull. When you've got a lot of females, you push him. And right there, that made Big Joe come over to a new gal, get around her. And maybe later tonight when nobody's watching, you know, that's when they actually do their thing. Because... It's, you, you never see them really do their thing uh, and, you know, uh, get it on, uh, needless to say. You, you don't ever see it. It's rare uh, if you do see it. So I think they do it at night. But so right now he's just on his date and then he's going to close the deal at night, just to put it the nice way. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching us. We're hot and heavy. We'll keep on bossing ranching.